Okay, today I'm going to show you guys and girls how to make a professional website that you design yourself. It's going to have pretty much endless options. You can have your own domain name, you can have a shopping cart, you can upload pictures, videos, you can make any kind of site you want. It's just going to take a little bit of time to learn the concepts to run WordPress. Um, this series of videos I'm going to make is going to be a little different than what you normally see out there. It's not going to be one long video on how to make a cookie cutter website in WordPress. It's going to be a series of short videos on how to learn to use WordPress properly. And once you go through this series of videos, you will have a good understanding of WordPress and you'll be able to make any kind of website that you want. Um, in my first video that I'm going to start today, I'm going to show you how to get your own domain name. And that costs about 10 bucks a year. Um, honestly, too, if you're, if you're worried about the price, eight bucks a month, then I would say you don't deserve to have your own awesome professional website that you designed yourself. So um, if you can afford eight bucks a month, congratulations. Um, I think most of us can because most of us do get a latte once in a while or a bagel, and that costs about eight bucks by itself at Starbucks on any given day. So I think. If you're serious about this, you can afford eight bucks a month and it'll overcome all the limitations of the free version of WordPress. So today what we're going to start with is how to get your own domain name. That's step one. You got to have a domain. So um, we're going to get on. I'm going to show you how to find a good deal, pitfalls to watch out for. So after today, after you watch this video, you'll know how to get your own domain name and you'll be past the first hurdle on the path toward having your own awesome, professional, unlimited options website. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, let's get started. Let's do this. All right, then let's get going. So if you're impatient to get started, let's just get freaking started. I'm ready to start. Are you ready to start? Let's start. So let's get skill number one out of the way and get this ball rolling. Let's go. Come on, team. Let's do it. You ready for this? Come on, let's go. I'm pumped up because I know this is going to be awesome for all you all. And I know you're going to be excited about it. And I know you're going to love having your own awesome professional website that you designed yourself, that nobody else designed for you. I'm a total freaking geek and I know that. I'm a, I'm a 40 year old geek. I'm a 40 year old freaking loser geek. The first thing I'm going to do to get a domain name is I'm going to go to whois.com and I'm going to search for the domain that I want to see if it's available. I think I want coolwebsite.com. Let's see if that's available. Unfortunately, coolwebsite.com is taken. But as you can see down here, coolwebsite.biz is still available. So I could take that if I wanted. But I want a .com or a .net name because they're more common. People recognize them more easily and I like them better. So let's try Nifty Website and see if that's available. Awesome. Niftywebsite.com is available. So. I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. Now here are a couple things you should know. You can search around for low cost, very cheap domain names and you're going to find all kinds of things out there. But you need to read the fine print and you need to call the company to make sure that the price that you're getting is the price that it's going to be every year after that as well. So I'm going to give you an example. Yesterday register.com had 50 cent domain names. I was like, wow, what a great deal. I can post this on my first video. But then I called this number right here, uh, their customer service number, and I asked them, is 50 cents the price every year? And they said, no, it'll go up to its normal price after the first year. And I think that's kind of common. They give you an introductory price for a year and then it goes up to the standard price. And I said, well, what is the standard price? And they said, $38 per year. $38, that's almost four times as much as a typical domain name costs. So who is? charges for this niftywebsite.com 9.88 per year. I'm good with that. I think that's a good price. I'm not going to look around for any crazy deals and get hosed by some company that is not showing the fine print. Another reason I'm going to go with who is as my registrar is because they have some free services, free with free add-ons with every domain name. See they have privacy protection. That's a big deal. Privacy protection is something that I recommend getting for any domain that you get. 
The reason I say that it's so important is that you can go to the, the Whois lookup and you can type in any domain, and I just grabbed this one for an example, hit search, and it will bring up who the registrar is, it's GoDaddy, and it will bring up all the personal information of that person. So that's why I always get privacy. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy myniftywebsite.com. So I'm gonna click, I'm now gonna click uh, register selected, and I'm gonna move forward with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out. So who is has you sign in to place your order? If you don't have an account, you gotta create one. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my account by filling all this information in and then clicking create account. Okay, once you've gone through that sign up process, you'll come to this screen and it'll ask you how you wanna pay. It'll tell you what your product is and my product is myniftywebsite.com domain name for one year at 988 and with all the cool free services that I got, especially that awesome privacy free service, which is usually gonna double the cost of the domain and then I'm gonna to have to pay. So I'm gonna click uh, Visa and I'm gonna click Pay Online. Okay, this is the next screen that comes up. It asks me if I have a PayPal account. Since I don't, I'm gonna say I don't have a PayPal account and I'm gonna fill this form out and then I'm gonna click Continue when I'm done. So once I filled out that form, this is the next screen that comes up. I'm gonna click Credit Card and I'm gonna put in my credit card number and my expiration date and all that good stuff and then I'm gonna submit this form. Okay, once you've filled out that last form, this is the page that will come up. When you get to this page, all you gotta do is click on the Pay Now button and you're done with this process. Okay, once you completed that last screen, you'll then get to this screen and you will be done. Um, be sure that you remember the password you used when you signed up for your account when you started this process. It's very important that you have that written down as well as the email address that you used when you signed up. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to log into your Whois account and enable privacy because by default it is not enabled. So first thing you do is you go to whois.com and if you haven't yet logged out after your order it'll just say my account. If you did log out you'll need to sign in with your email address and your password that you generated when you first started the order process. So you click on my account and then you'll come to this page. You're gonna to wanna to jump to your domain. So type in your domain, click the little arrow next to it. So you'll come to this page and here we have privacy protection. Go ahead and click that and then click enable because as you can see, by default, privacy protection is disabled. So click enable and then click the update privacy protection status. Okay, operation done successfully. So now when people do a search for your domain name in the Whois lookup, they will not find all your personal details. Congratulations, you now have your own domain and you are ready to go on the next step of making your own professional website, which is uh, finding a good host. You guessed it, I already have a recommendation for a good host. By the way, don't forget your username and password. Write it down.